this is Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to introduce you to model horses for everybody who hasn't seen them. And to do this, I have my friend Dana. She has never seen them. I haven't even let her look at them yet. Hello, hello. Hey. Oh, I'm so excited to see them and you wouldn't let me see them until right now. So okay. is it okay to look now? So this is my collection as it is right now. So these are mainly rare models. These right here are the miniatures. These are stable mates from rare. And they're so addictive. People have thousands of these. Wow, where do you get these? These come from New Jersey uh, and they're made by a company named Brayer. These are their stable mate sizes and most of these are from Brayer too. And this is the regular traditional size they oh, have. This is the main brand. This is like the main This is the main one, yeah. One. It'll show you what else there is. Most of the models are realistic, but you see some of them have these fancy paint jobs and we call those decorators. And at Halloween they put all the decorating, uh, the, the spiders and snakes on them and ghosts. I don't generally plastic? collect them. Yeah, it's made of a plastic. They are really just kids' toys, but us collectors love them. It does, doesn't it? Beautiful. You know, some people. This is this is my limited collection, and I have some in storage as well. But some people have thousands, three thousand, five thousand of these things. Rooms feel beautifully displayed. It's an addiction. You know? It is an addiction, and I am totally addicted to and these. I love the case, them. It's like fine art. Yes, and they, I had this case made here, actually. Wow, it's really cool. And this piece was made for me so I can do stop motion videos. So these are my dolls here. Uh -huh. Frederick says, oh, I, I actually oh, did some stop motion videos with these guys. Wow, and all the little tiny details. Yeah, I've made the entire barn, the clocks, the hay, all the tack. Everything you see in here. It is beautiful. Oh, the little tiny spray bottle and the little tools. That's amazing. So real. Oh. My tack room, oh. she's cleaning her tacks. This is some oh. of the tack I've made. The fridge works. Well, I mean, it doesn't work, but it opens. Like, where's my cold beer? Yeah, there's little tiny beers in there. <laughs> this, the detail is amazing. I made the couch, the little leather couch. And you, she even has her own rare. By hand. Yes, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, she does. She has a little toy bird. Yeah. And the feet move. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the little carrots, the tiny little baby. You make all of this by hand. The carrots I didn't make, I bought, but, but somebody made those. But yeah. most of the stuff I made, even the staircase in here, was like a real one. It rolls out. If you look over that side, it rolls out to be a, an opening staircase oh, to go wow. to the loft. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. I have so much fun All doing the this. Little details. Like the clock little, works. It's like a dollhouse except the horse. So one of the things Brayer does is try to get these models as realistic as possible. So this is this draft horse. You can see it's totally different than this uh, sport horse Appaloosa. Yeah. Some of them come in a matte finish, some of them come in glossy finish. And that is one of the things collectors like. Some collectors all like glossy, some like the matte. But that's some of the fun stuff that they do. Which style that they like to work on? Yeah. You can't see the difference in green because it's like a Belgian with a softy face and neck, and that's just gorgeous. Do you have a Tennessee Walker by any chance? Uh, I don't know. I like the matte, but I think I like the glossy. I'm a glossy and person. Eyes. I just oh. love the way it shines. But when you put the saddles on it, it yeah. has the contrast of this. Well, sometimes it's better to use a matte one because it looks more realistic. Mm -hmm. Is this an expensive hobby to get into? Um, the prices can vary. A regular run model can run anywhere from $50 and up for this uh, scale. A model like that can cost you from $5 to $25 for a regular kind of run. Um, some of these fancier ones that come from the club cost about $175. Wow. Like this that you have as a web special, this little guy right here. Now they're special runs. Uh, they can go up to around three hundred dollars. Wow! So now I see why there's a lock on the case. <laughs> that is beautiful. Now for prices, uh, there's an auction at Brayer Fest. Now Brayer Fest is an event we we go to. It's like a mm -hmm. you know everybody goes mm -hmm. there on their mission. Like BravoCon. Or yeah, Comic -Con. and it's every July, mm -hmm. and we all go there, and they have an auction, a live auction. Ooh, nice. like a live auction, they hold up paddles. And Oh yeah, it's a real live auction and everybody is, you know, waving around their stuff, right? And uh, two years ago, a model went for, yes. $65,000. 
This size, still plastic, really pretty. What it was made a, it so special? Is it like a one and a ten? They're all just one of one. one, one. one. They're all the auction models are almost all one of yeah. one. It was a house. rearing, rearing model with wings, Pegasus. Oh, yes, they could have bought a car. Yeah, nice car. <laughs> nice really car. Yeah. That is that is a charity auction, and a lot of the money does go for charities. Well, Still, I wish I had that. I, I wish I could do that. that. <laughs> and where is the auction? Really? It's at Briar Fest in Kentucky. In Kentucky, yeah, same place every year. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a, a road trip. Or a plane trip and then a road trip. <laughs> it is. <laughs> when I was a kid, we played with these. These are actually latex, and these are called julep models. And my aunt and parents used to bring, no, this is something in England now. And what, these are like back in the 60s. And I used to collect this stuff as a little kid. And this is what got me all started on these. You carry it over into adulthood. It doesn't stop. This horse. No, this is my real horse now. Oh. The one I have here. Oh, it's modeled after this? Yeah, she painted it up for me. Wow. I see your horse on your, yep, the real horse. horse. Living horse. Now another make is Heartland. And these were makes that we hadn't seen for a while. And this was a very first uh, limited edition, I think back in 87. Wow. And I remember sitting there wondering if I should buy it. Oh my God, I think it was like $80. Oh, I can't afford it, I can't. I bought it. I love the way it's standing, the motion. You can feel it, the motion in it. It is so cool, oh, isn't it? I love that one. Now this one here is from another company in Indiana called Stone Horses. And that's an Arab, and he's, she's wearing, or he's wearing his costume right now. Beautiful. This, so deep. It's beautiful. It was made by uh, Dee Crawley, who just passed away, sadly. But it is just a beautiful piece. This is like a new value piece, too. Now, this one's a costume I made myself, and it's on one of the YouTube tutorials I do. Wow. Where do you find the supplies for these? Um, this stuff's all come locally. It's just uh, DMC cotton. And these things, uh, this is kids play, and the rest of the stuff I get off Amazon or from suppliers. Wow. And when I do the tutorial, I link to where everything is uh, purchasable. I was curious, how long does it take to make something like this? Um, I don't know, something like that probably takes me about 10 hours. Oh wow, that's fast. I'm pretty fast at that stuff. It's going to take me 10 months. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's really picky because you got to do all these individual but I, I kind of come in where I kind of do it uh, all in a row. You've done enough that you have a routine. And sadly, this is my entire work area. So sometimes this is covered and we can't even cook on this area. This is it, but the house is so small that this is all we have. So when you have a work day, it's a restaurant yeah. dinner day. Yes, so this is what I just finished making, the boots. Those are the last tutorials I did. It is so much wow. fun though. I can't imagine getting that material in here though. It's so tiny. That's made of leather. And little tiny Velcro. Velcro. And these oh are magnets. Gosh, no way. No little way. tiny magnets. <laughs> and this one is a China model. This is made in England. Oh wow. It's a clean beat. And you may want to have a look at that. I sculpted this one myself. Modeled by Lisa Sharp. Yeah. Number one of three. Oh, my fine bone china handmade. Yeah, handmade. and this one's actually still available for sale in England, but it's very difficult to cast, so it costs hundreds to get it done. Oh, imagine. Did you go and do this there? Anyway? No, I, I sculpted it here. You really are an artist. Yeah, I sculpted that, and I, uh, that, I think five others. Oh my gosh. But I don't like painting them, so somebody else usually paints them for me. Occasionally I'll paint them. This little guy over here, actually did paint, and that's called a micro mini. Always beautiful. Those are a little tough to uh, work with since they're so tiny. It's gorgeous, the shading and the tiny, tiny feet. You can see I got this guy with his uh, custom t-shirt for the name of my barn, which is Sable Valley. Yeah. And he is helping his daughter, who's getting her horse ready, she needs some pants on, I think. She's, she's got her ready. hose there. It's a movable <laughs> hose. She can hose them down, get them cleaned up. And the tiny bucket in the back. Yep. It's got all the stuff in there. Beautiful. It's got a, a muck bucket, feeds bucket. Wow. All that works. Too. What let's do is we take them to shows. So we take them and we either show them halter, just put them on the table and they get judged on the quality and the breed and everything's right. Or we put saddles on them and we set them up doing all the English classes and Western classes, jumper, carts. And 
People get their little tiny tweezers between class to rush to change the tack on the models. It is so much fun, a lot of work, but yeah. so much fun. If you can't, like me, who can't go to a show because of where we live, uh, there's also photo shows. So as you saw me on the beach, which is how you know I do this. Yeah. <laughs> it's my first discovery. Yeah. yeah, I take these photos and then I put them in photo shows and they're judged and we win prizes. Oh, so the uh, photos, um, I've seen some of them that are really gorgeous. They Thank you. A lot. But they, they, yeah, they all get up on their same little thing and we judge them. Sometimes I judge, sometimes I show, and it is so much fun. And on that one you saw me say getting ready for, I think I won three rosettes and a model horse, so I'm still waiting to see that. Wow. That's pretty cool. On well, the one that you did the, like, the television show and you had the different skate set up, that was really impressive. Thank you. So one, one of the things about showing that's really great is that people learn about the, uh, the anatomy of the horse and you know all the other stuff and how to show what is necessary for showing. So if people can't afford a real horse or haven't been around a real horse, or if they're just learning, you learn about the whole area, English, Western, driving, and it is such a good educational tool. It is, it would be good for kids who um, you know, are having challenges with misbehavior or not to give them out, but it's something they can do for you. It is, it definitely is. Kids are uh, in their 60s. <laughs> no, no, well, you're not in your 60s, but I actually, actually am. am. <laughs> I am, I'm 60. <laughs> Okay, so another thing people do is they take these models and take a hacksaw to them and heat, and they put them in different positions, and they customize them. And then once they've got them all exchanged, so you may take this and put his head down. Actually, he's too hard to get to. So they may take this one and change its legs so it's trotting, or change its tail, or put its head down. And then, then they repaint it, and that's a custom. Wow. Are those valuable as well? That's Samuel L. Jumper. That's his show name. Wow. All of my models have show names. That is the tiniest print. Yep. How do you get those made, or do you? That's in my tutorials. Exactly how ah, to make that. Okay, so I'll have to check out the tutorial. That's impressive. It's so. Cool. But, I mean, you got to get look at the thing. People think we're playing with toys. We are. You think we're crazy? We are. But we love it. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. Every time we get a new model, it just stimulates. It's so beautiful. It's it's. Well, they're important addiction. to us. It's a healthy addiction. It's, it's a healthy, healthy addiction. And, and I, I, mean, I just love it. You always have is creativity and you learn. It's a real good learning tool. Well, I'm excited to learn more about it. I'm so glad you are my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be over more often. I am. Now. So now I have one question for you. Which one's your favorite? Oh, my goodness. That would be really, really difficult. Turn it off and flush it. This is really difficult because they're all so special and so beautiful. My first thought would be the Tennessee Walker just because I come from Tennessee. <laughs> but that little guy on the bottom left, he caught my eye. Well, let's pull him out then. He looks like this. That is a vintage club brayer, and that's a special run, and I absolutely love him. He's beautiful. It reminds me of one I had growing up that I played with. He is pretty. He is beautiful. And he has the prize. No. Well, that's actually a sticker oh, okay. that uh, it mimics the old, it's called a vintage club, and it mimics the old style. They used to put these stickers on models back in the 60s. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. It's a cool, little eh? movement of the tail. It's a beautiful horse. Oh, he's my favorite. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you've had this chance to have a look, and I'm glad you're going to join me with future endeavors on this. Thank you, Dana, so much for coming over. And if anybody has any questions about model horses, please leave a comment. I would love to talk to you about it. Thanks for joining me on my journey. Please check out the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.